Hello guys, it's good to have you here again. Today we are going to be talking about a very important concept in yam farming. It's called dormancy period. In most of my videos you would have heard me talk about yam seeds breaking dormancy before you go ahead to plant. Actually, that is the best set of seeds to plant. It's not good to plant a particular seed that has not broken dormancy. The reason is because it may take a longer time. If you are lucky, it will take a longer time to sprout. But if you are not lucky, it can just get rotten in the soil. So that is why it is very important we plant seeds that have broken dormancy. The question is, what is dormancy? That's number one. And what does it mean for yam seeds to now break dormancy? Generally, for most seeds, there's always a period between when you harvest and when, when you harvest that particular maybe seed or crop and when that crop will start to sprout or when that seed will start to sprout. That period between, let's say, let's take for example now, yam seed, between when you freshly harvest yam and the time it will take or the time it will be in storage for it to eventually now start to sprout. That period is called dormancy period. And starting to sprout means it has broken free from that dormancy. For yam, many for yam seeds, many persons they've asked, or yam generally, particularly white yam, people have been asking. Since the duration or the duration for yam, planting yam, between planting then harvest, is about six months. And we have 12 months in a year. Is it not possible that we will plant yam, we harvest and replant again so that we can have two seasons in one year? And I've told them, for now, as far as now is concerned, it is not really possible because you cannot just harvest fresh yam and replant because of this concept called dormancy. That's what happens to many seeds if not all. I'm not an expert agriculturist, but to the best of my knowledge, seeds must undergo a period of dormancy. And during that dormancy period, a lot of stuff go on, a lot of, a lot of chemical reactions and all that. Of course, those ones are beyond the scope of this video, and I'm not an authority in that. But I'm just going to give you today my layman's view and what I have experienced practically right in my farm so how do i know a particular yam that has broken dormancy or the one even if it has not shown the most visible sign of breaking dormancy how do i know that if i plant this there's a possibility that it will not rot or there's a high chance that it will germinate because some people call me that like how do i know and they like i've planted for so and so time it has not sprouted, what is going on, and all that. So all that will try as much as possible to lay to rest today. My personal experience. Now, I'll tell you three things, basically, three things. One will be the most visible sign of breaking dormancy, which probably you know. And the remaining other two, if they have not broken dormancy, how can you, to an extent, hazard a guess? that this particular seed here is about to break the man's or if I plant it, it will sprout. And the major reason why I'm doing this video today is just because I've tried to, I, I just downplayed it because I thought it wasn't basically an issue until one of my subscribers, my subscribers called me and was lamenting. I've talked about dormancy, but I didn't really go deep into it. I know a lot of my friends, they've talked about it and I felt that should be enough for as many that want to actually assess but i felt it necessary to lend my voice to this now these are some of 
the yams in my barn, in my storage barn, they have broken dormancy. Now, what is the evidence that they have broken dormancy? Very obvious. They've started sprouting. This one has even gone to this extent. Every particular tuba of yam that you are seeing here, they've all broken dormancy. So, number one, the first sign to show that your seed has broken dormancy is to have sprouts. So they will start sprouting. Meaning, the end of one life cycle, then the beginning of another life cycle. That is breaking dormancy. So if you plant this seed, you are very, very sure that it is going to at least if not 100 percent that is going to survive that's number one then number two number two way to know that your yam seed will be viable or is very close to dormancy just assume that there is no sprout imagine that there is no sprout but you want to still see if this yam is, is viable. And to an extent, you are sure that when you plant it, you go to the market. All you need to do is to actually look at the skin. All right? Forget about this sprout. Now, assuming this sprout is not here or it has not come out. When you look at the skin, there is something unique you will see. You will see little, little stuff that looks like goose pimples. All right? Let me, it's, it, the owl is it's prominent everywhere. But I'll just show you. Okay, fine. For example, let's see. Can we zoom closer? All right? So, you can see these little, 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 little dots that look like pimples or goose pimples. These ones are actually spots. They are actually spots through which this particular yam can sprout. Now, let me also mention something here. You'll learn this. Ideally, if you check in the... From my own experience and also corroborated by the literature, yams will always sprout faster from the head, number one, and another point where they will sprout fast is from the tail. Well, many persons don't know this. The head and the tail before the body. Now, but when you look at the body, how are you sure that the body will sprout? Look at, you have these dots, 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 dots. But Lema will call them eyes from where they can sprout. You understand? So these dots. So when you go to the market, assuming there's no sprout, but you see these dots, watch out. In the next couple of weeks, you, if you plant that particular seed, there is a very, very high chance that it will start to sprout. That is number two way of knowing. All right? All right. The third point I want to raise is this. The dormancy period of your yam seed actually really depends on your time of harvest to a very large extent. You can imagine, for example, this particular this set of yams that you, you see here now. I harvested them around December and were in the second week of March now, the next year. So you can imagine harvesting in December, second week of March, you're already seeing sprouts like this. And of course, this sprout, they would have, they are not less than, let's say about two weeks or thereabout. Meaning, on the average, the dormancy period for this particular tuba I'm holding now is just about eight weeks eight weeks but if i had harvested earlier let's assume 
I harvested some months before. Because I know I delayed in harvesting this year. I was supposed to harvest like two months earlier or thereabout. You can see that the dormancy period would have probably been longer. So if you harvest early, or let me use the word on time, your dormancy period may get up to three, four months, even five. And it is said that the dormancy period, there are factors that can affect the dormancy period, that can prolong or shorten the dormancy period. Now, a very um, important factor that have been said to prolong dormancy period is your storage environment, the ambience that you stored the yam in. The cooler, it is said that the cooler the ambience or the environment, temperature in your area, the longer the dormancy period, so to speak. Although these are, you know, in quotes, they are living organisms and they are genetically programmed at some point. So you just have to do a little bit of uh, manipulations. Now you might be asking, what is the importance of this issue of dormancy? I tell you, I am very, very certain that in the future, scientists will be able to do some form of manipulation, so to speak. Manipulation that will help us to alter this dormancy period, such that is it possible that at the end of it, we will now be having varieties that can break dormancy fast. So that will now help us maybe better in the, in the, in the food security as far as yam is concerned. Because if we can plant one set of, for example, now this set of, if I can plant and harvest twice this particular set, let's assume I plant, let's say in January, I harvested in May and June, it has broken dormancy, I plant again. So before the end of that particular uh, year, I would have, you know, planted this same seed from this same line and harvest at the end of the year. So it, it now means that you are harvesting twice in a year. We are looking forward to maybe achieving that in the future, hopefully, because that would ensure that this yam is always available. But for now, the best we can do is to, is to stagger the planting so that we can harvest at certain time. Not necessarily that particular yam that you are planting twice, but you are staggering the period or manipulating the period. So the dormancy period can be altered by factors and one other factor that the scientists they are actually looking at now is to look at the use of plant growth regulators the plant growth regulators like hormones that can just help break dormancy fast so that maybe you harvest um, after one week or two you can use the hormone to induce dormancy to break uh, to induce the breaking of dormancy and that will not make you to plant if that can be done to an extent it will help to ensure food security as far as yam is concerned so if you delay harvest the period of dormancy will be short but if harvest is early there is a tendency for you to have a longer dormancy period but like i said the first two points are better off to estimate whether or not that yam has broken dormancy or close to breaking dormancy. I am sure I've been able to explain to the barest minimum what dormancy means and breaking of dormancy. And the take home from here is this, learn to always plant seeds that have broken dormancy the guarantee of germination is there and you will be able to have greater yield i want you to drop your comments what do you understand by these things i've just said there are other people out there you know better than me please let's educate everybody at the comment section drop your experience what are the other signs you think we can use to ascertain yam that has broken dormancy or the one that is close to breaking dormancy because i've heard people say ah i planted yam that has not broken dormancy and is still germinated yes it is possible especially when you plant whole seeds 
that is that there is no injury anyway. If you plant them, they will just remain there until it gets to that time that they are programmed to break dormancy. They will break dormancy and they will still grow. But remember, it depends on when that sprout occurs for you to be able to estimate the time or duration of that year of that your year. So it is important you know that. Can I plant freshly harvested yam now? And it will now germinate very unlikely. Very, very unlikely. You harvested yam today, you plant it tomorrow, and you expect it to germinate. It's still in the period of dormancy. Until it breaks that dormancy, it will germinate. But can I harvest yam yesterday and plant, okay, in another one month, it will, it will um, break dormancy? It is possible also because it depends on the age of the yam that you are harvesting. If you harvested it late, let's assume it's supposed to break dormancy in February. You harvested it in January. So it is possible that it will just stay another one month and start to grow. After all, there are some tubers that you leave inside the um, ground and you didn't harvest and they will start to sprout on their own. It means they stayed in there, broke dormancy and, it, and then they started germinating. I think I've been able to explain these things. I want us to help ourselves. Let us educate ourselves more in the comment section. Thank you and God bless you.